And over day, and over day, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are watching Lost. This is the ninth episode of the first season. Hope the guys have been enjoying it so far. If you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in a link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. So we have fully confirmed now that Shannon's died. You know, I was hopeful. We didn't really see any of the aftermath after she was shot until last episode, and uh, it was confirmed. She's done and dusted, mate. She's in the ground with Boone. You know, two siblings gone. Uh, who would have thought it that those two would have been the two characters to first? First die and we had Shannon teased earlier on in season one didn't wear before Boone actually died as well uh so last episode Saeed tried to attack Anna Lucille obviously she was the one that shot Shannon and obviously Mr Echo jumped in the way was fighting him before then um Anna Lucille tied him up she was like look mate I want you guys to go back to your camp give me some of these bullets for you you know for these guns I want you to bring me a pack I want uh, some supplies I want some food I want some clothes um you know she was scared pretty much she was on the back foot we got an interesting story about her as well being a cop and uh basically on one of the cases because I've been saying all this time that she is pretty much like a quick trigger you know what i mean she turns and she shouts or she pulled the gun straight away and like we see in the backstory that she used to be a police officer and uh, she went out to a scene and basically she gave this person the benefit of the doubt that was reaching into their bag to bring out their id and as they done that they grabbed the gun and bang 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 shot her multiple times ending up killing her baby because she was pregnant and uh, she ended up getting revenge on them and killing them but then ever since then she's kind of had some kind of ptsd where she turns up and anything that's quick she gets the first draw do you know what i mean she's the first to react um and it kind of it just helps you understand the character and why she's obviously in the position that she is like i said you know rosie's husband but i he just wanted to get back to camp he was like look mate i appreciate everything that you've done to me i appreciate keeping me alive this far and bringing me this far but my wife's just around that corner and i don't want to be involved in any of this craziness it's between you and saeed or whatever you want but you know what i mean i'm going and he decided to go back to obviously the camp now mr echoes ran back as well with sawyer because obviously he's getting worse and worse and worse and he said mate i need the doctor he's found jack he's grabbed him he's laying down he's giving him some you know medication hopefully he's on the mend and jack's ended up going back out after speaking to mr echo finding out it was anna lucia that actually shot the weapon because they had an engagement didn't they at the airport he was getting on really well and the episode basically ended with obviously everybody reuniting in the camp you know and a good embrace between Jin and son great embrace between bernard and rose and also we had uh jack and anna and lucia kind of like staring at each other before the episode ended so now i'm really excited because like i said we're eight episodes in we've got both people together now we've got both of them wanting to get their children back that have been taken and we know that quite a lot of people from the the you know the back end of the plane that did survive are obviously taken as well whilst also learning that one of uh, anna lucia's camps was infiltrated by a person just the same way jacks was as well so i mean it seems like they know what they're doing they're targeting individuals strong healthcare children as well and uh, they feel like these people can benefit their society so it's going to be interesting to see obviously who they are what they're doing and how they put them all to work Thanks for checking out today's episode. If you do enjoy it, please smash a like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. Yo, it's our first time I've seen him with his top off. He's ripped. Look at him. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, man, I know this hurts. Michael told me you pulled the bullet out with your bare hands. Just show me how to do that sometime. What? I didn't... Oh, shit. The only way I could get rid of her was to send her out to get some food for you. I love her. I love her. I love her. <laughs> no way, mate. A horse. <laughs> Hey girl, what are you doing here? Eat it. Mm. All right, let's get you to bed. Wow. You're beautiful. You gonna take my pants off first? You are beautiful. Was she waiting for him just because she knows he comes home drunk all the time? Okay, that was well interesting. I didn't expect that. So, yeah. You know what I mean? When we had that conversation between, what is it, Sawyer and Kate, have you ever killed somebody? And we had the Sawyer flashback where he shot the wrong person. And obviously we had the Kate one where she crashed the car. And obviously her ex-boyfriend, you know, died, the doctor or whatever's. 
I thought that was it for both of them. Do you know what I mean? Well, it turns out, no, it looks like Kate purposely just blew this guy up, which is interesting because we do need to know more of the stories. And also, because so much goes on, you forget stuff. Polar bears was on this island, yeah? And I've seen a horse, I've remembered the polar bears. What's going on with them? How have they got there? Was it this project that dropped them onto the island? Who knows? How are they surviving for this long as well? And eating all this stuff. Uh, you know, each, each time something random will happen, it'll pop in my head and I'll just say it randomly, just so it's refreshed until we get those answers. Coffee, pie, both. I want a beer. How's that wrist? No, that shop in the kitchen sticks out sometimes. Don't. Oh, she just killed her husband or boyfriend or whatever it is. I made my bed, Catherine. Well, your bed's gone, Ma. What is this? An insurance policy for the house. What? I never... I took it out in your name. Remember that you were here and you didn't see me, okay? Catherine, what did you do? I took care of you, Ma. I gotta go. I like the makeup as well. Her eyes look really good. Like, she's actually feeling the emotions. You okay? I think I'm just being tired. I'm told if the antibiotics are working. I'm hydrated. Maybe mash up some of that fruit, see if you can get him to eat it. I'll be back in a couple hours. Yep. You're sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm great. I'm gonna go to the funeral. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think most of them realized it was an accident. I said that, didn't I, though? If you have to take emotions out and think of it, it was it was an accident and she was just scared trying to save her people. Shannon and I were strangers. We wouldn't even have spoken if... But we did meet. And we did speak. I loved her. May she rest in peace. you wake up you're gonna get a kick out of me feeding you like a baby i saw a horse that's what happens when you don't sleep sawyer you awake oh uh, why did you kill me don't really know what's going on there why did you kill me oh the cold's going as well while wow, she's getting strangled it's the alarm. sawyer it's always on number one always Why he just said that he killed her? Hey, you missed the funeral. Do you think there are horses here? <laughs> no. I think I saw a horse in the jungle. Seen polar bears. Yeah, at least he didn't monsters. dismiss it. Well, herd monsters, but horses, no. It was good because he didn't dismiss it do you know what i mean like when um what was it now shannon was asking say do you believe me i don't know if he said no why he's pretty much kind of saying no where he actually was like well seen polar bears kind of seen a monster well i've not physically seen it but i know it's here do you know what i mean so like it's not really too far-fetched that there's a horse knocking around is there i still don't really know what so he's kind of talking about to be honest because he did say that he loved her he loves her i think he said i love her to jack I was thinking if you was Jack, would you tell Kate he said that? But then I was thinking, no, that's good. it's got to be Sawyer that does that. Do you know what I mean? Because because he's heavily drugged up or something, people do say and disclose different things and they wouldn't want that happening. Like, he might never actually want that out there. Do you know what I mean? And if he does, he wants it to be him on the right time. So I'm glad that Jack didn't say, actually, if I'm being totally honest. But that engagement was, was interesting. I'm not too sure what happened and why Kate's actually fled that scene, if that makes sense. Because it looks bad on her currently until she justifies why it happened to Jack. I would have actually just gone to Jack, do you know what I mean, and explained what's just gone on. Tallahassee, one way, please. I spent a week in Tallahassee one night. It's all strip malls and waffle houses. Don't I know you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Kate Austin, you're under arrest for murder. I didn't do anything. Your mama gave you up, Kate. I seen Kate a little while ago in the jungle. She was acting kind of barmy, asking me about horses on the island. Yes, finally. I was wondering when he's getting that off his wrist. Yeah, man. Looks good. <laughs> What's up with the blast doors? You're Desmond, he didn't tell you about these, what they're for? No, he didn't. But he did leave a movie. What the hell are you doing out here? I come back, I find Sawyer just lying on the ground. You just took off. Is he okay? Yes. Kate, he's fine. No, don't walk away Let from me. Of... No. Kate, 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 Kate. Joe! <laughs> it's okay. I know. It's okay. See, I, I don't really get what's happening there. Jack should pull away knowing what's just happened with Finger. He's gonna run off. <laughs> I knew he should run off. Kate. See, right, is anyone sick of the world they won't there? I, I'm sick of it, to be honest. Not that, like, I dislike it, but, like, I just just pick man like i had this in the vampire diaries watching this is elena gonna be with stefan or damon 
why are we like five seasons in and she's kind of with one and then she's then with the other and then she's back again it's like just pick one nobody cares we just want it settled you know what i'm saying like it's not as if i, I like i really care if any relationship happens they haven't built it up massively where i'm like fully going for one or fully going for the other but like dripping it in and then dripping it out and then dripping it back with that one and dripping it back it's like why man what benefits that do well People might love it. People might love that sort of stuff, but not me. I just like set in stone, go for it, one or the other, and then I know where I am. Do you know what I mean? I know where I am and what I enjoy. Like this, you know, if I was Jack, I would have pulled away a minute ago. Because, first of all, if you watch the engagement, how Kate was with Sawyer last episode, and then, obviously, if you listen to what Sawyer was saying about Kate in this episode, it's just like, it's just too much, man. Like, I wouldn't know where I'd sat. I'd, I'd literally need to sit down if he wanted to be with her and say, look, mate, what's your position with Sawyer? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that needs to be addressed. You can't just, like, float around like it's not a thing. So that's interesting. And again, the thing with Kate that does stress me out is she don't reveal information. Like, she never revealed why he was on the floor and what happened to her in, in there. Do you know what I mean? Jack still doesn't even know why she ran away and why Sawyer was on the floor. It is highly recommended that you and your partner take alternating shifts. In this manner, you will both stay as fresh and alert with utmost importance. And do not attempt to use a computer for anything. Congratulations, the future of the project is in your hand. Good luck. You've been pushing that button every two hours since you got down here. That's right. All I heard was something about electromagnets and an incident. What about all the missing pieces? What do you think? It'll be massively important. I reckon they had one in their cave or whatever. Sorry, I missed it. At a funeral, I... I had to be with Sawyer, so... Why aren't you with him now? Because I'm going crazy. Do you believe in ghosts, Saeed? I saw Walt in the jungle just before Shannon was shot. Does that make me crazy? Jack and Kate's going crazy, like the island's the first person affecting her. It's a long drive back to the arraignment. Why now? I just gotta wonder, why'd you kill him now? All oh, right, yeah, don't tell me. You wouldn't want to incriminate yourself. You don't know anything about me. White trash mom divorces dad, starts up with some guy who's a drinker. Maybe he knocks her around a little bit. She loves him. She defends him. Pretty much down to a T, that, innit? it? I mean, that don't make a person want to kill somebody. I don't know what does. <laughs> okay, so a horse ran out. It's locked the doors because, yeah, I was going to say the car still works. All right, that, that was interesting. The question is, so why now, isn't it? Like he said. The alarm goes off at four minutes. You can't type anything till then. I have something I think you should see. I will begin at the beginning. Long before Christ. Boy, when you say beginning, you mean... <laughs> the beginning. The beginning. <laughs> Josiah sent his secretary to the treasury. We must rebuild the temple. Give all of the gold to the workers so that this will be done. But when the secretary returned, he had no gold. And when Josiah asked why this was, what the secretary had found was an ancient book. And it was with that ancient book that Josiah rebuilt the temple. On the other side of the island, we found a book. Yeah, can somebody scribbled on it on the inside information? All right, someone's got pages out. It's like Joe. Tape. That was pretty good, that actually, because Locke was definitely thinking, yo, this guy's preaching, mate, that I should start reading the Bible and all that stuff. Like, I, I was trying to wonder how he's tying it in, but it's pretty good, actually, how he said, like, you know, they said, rebuild a temple, give them all the gold, and it's like, you know, they ended up coming back and finding a book, and the information in the book was all they needed to build a temple. And he was like, here in the island, do you know what I mean? We found something like this, and we also found the book. And the information in that book will help us solve this case, basically, what he was trying to say. Lock was thinking, bait, so I've got to read all this. And then you open it up, and it's like Joe, mate. He has the cutouts on the inside, doesn't he? He has his keys and his knives and stuff like that. Mate, another bit of that tape. I don't know if it's a missing one, or do you reckon it's a different one? You know what I mean? Because I think on their tape, it says they're in Sector 2 or something like that. Maybe in this one, that's Sector 3 or Sector 4. Do you know what I'm saying? But again, like I said, their bunker that they was in was basically plain as you know what i mean it'd been stripped out there was nothing there you know what i mean this one's full on like i wouldn't say high tech but there's technology there's beds there's there's food there's showers you know what i mean there's places to sit that other one didn't look like that it looked like a good place to, to camp and hide outside of the trees you know what i mean a good shelter but nothing like this one so i'm thinking that either they stopped and didn't press that button and then their project 
it's kind of like finished and this one's still carrying on or do you know what i mean or they just what well, i don't even know or, or they've just been taken you know what i mean who knows mate rose's husband's white didn't see that one coming <laughs> there's something you need early who's taking care of sawyer son is so you're like mad at him why would i be mad at sawyer he's the one who always comes down here and chops wood now you are <laughs> that was pretty good from hurley actually he's technically a shrink not so the other girl that's just joined the camp can you watch him I can stay oh, if you want yeah. to. I, I can. Yes, I'm sure that's the exact one you got. Uh-huh. I'll call you back later. Hi, Dad. Maybe the police and the U.S. Marshals are looking for you. You should I've been waiting outside for two hours. They're not here. I was making a scrapbook a surprise for your birthday. Victor said he sent me had dates on the back. Photos of you in Korea up until four months before I was born. Why didn't you tell me the way it was my father? Well, I didn't tell you because I knew you'd kill him. I'm not a murderer. Work in the army. <laughs> because I don't have murder in my heart. I'm gonna have to call him. Can I have an hour? Hi, Daddy. I don't know how that helps here with this eye situation. Wayne, I'm probably crazy. And this doesn't matter. But maybe you're in there. You asked me why I... Oh, is that what you said? Why I did it. It's because I hated that you were a part of me. That I would never be... Good. And every time that I look at Sawyer, every time I feel something for him, I see you, Wayne, and it makes me sick. That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Even though she's talking about Wayne, it was kind of like a little dig at Sawyer. Why did Sawyer strangle her then? Or did that actually happen? Do you know what I mean? Was she envisioning it? I don't know. Voila. We crash. Two halves of the same plane fall in different parts of the island. You're over there, I'm over here. Here's the missing piece right back where it belongs. What are the odds? Yeah, it's not 50-50, as in there's a chance it can't and a chance it can happen. That's how I see it. People say it's like 10%, but I just say it's 50-50. You've been rescued. You got it? Sorry. Son of a bitch. You <laughs> really thought you were yanking my chain. You need a haircut. <laughs> oh, really? Maybe you will take me back inside. A horse again? Well, at least I've seen it this time. Where's the tonic? We're running a little low on mixers. You're gonna try to convince me that everyone here doesn't hate me? Only if you're gonna try to convince me that every woman in the world's not crazy. And in a timely fashion. Here it comes. And do not attempt to use a computer for anything else other than the entering of the code duties associated with Station 3. It may tempt you to try and utilize a computer for communication with the outside world lead to another incident until your replacements arrive reckon something else is missing as well it didn't seem like it lagged though what's that noise that seems like a different one than usual knew it man easy bait that isn't it that's easy easy bait the thing is yeah he didn't say who's this and he didn't say i'm walt do you know what i mean like Never said that. But obviously the insinuation of dad is like, you know, is that is that you, dad, Michael? You know what I mean? I don't know, man. All I know is he couldn't press any keys on that computer before. You know, who was he talking to? I think, was, was Lot talking to Michael? And he was like, he's pressing all the keys. And he was like, look, nothing happened to me. The only thing we could do is wait until that goes to four minutes and then we can start pressing it. So again, how is it now that They've got the ability to actually start typing i want to know what's happened to desmond and where he's ran off to as well and obviously he must realize that whatever it is that he was thinking that was going to happen to that area has not happened do you know what i'm saying because no matter how far he's ran if it's been five or six days and everything's okay you would kind of go and scope it back out i would anyway you know what i mean like so if i lived in this house for example and i thought it was going to blow up because i had to press a key every four minutes and then or whatever it's and then the machine broke and I panicked and ran away. You know, if I was gone for like a week or something and I heard no explosion, I'd just come back and see if there was people around, see if the house was still standing. You know what I mean? Like, he's just disappeared completely. Also, he took loads of stuff off the shelf. Now, I don't know if it was just little bottles of alcohol, you know, like he's just kind of give to Ana Lucia. Um, 
Jack, or I don't know if Desmond took something else. I wasn't too sure what he took. He was panicking though and taking these little things. It might have been alcohol now I'm looking at those, but I thought it was something kind of important because did he not inject himself in his arm with something as well? So again, like what what was that happening? Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's a few little things that we still need to obviously pick up on. Like that, where's he gone? What's he doing? Where's he surviving on the island? You know, again, why is he a horse there? Why was he polar bears? That better get answered as well. We haven't seen the others yet. There's loads of them. There could be a story to them. What's happening with Walt? Why have we seen him a couple of times wet and in the trees? Have we actually seen him? Or are people just seeing things? You know what I'm saying? Like, those, again, are real questions that we should be getting answered or hopefully given to us down the, down the line. The computer, it wasn't working. It is now. You can type. That videotape there was obviously altered. You know, the only bit of information... Like, to me, whoever took that bit of tape out, it doesn't make any sense because... There actually wasn't much info on there that was, like, secret or anything. He did the, the tape that was literally missing was just, like, don't use the computer for anything. It was an incident that we had before. It could repeat again. Do you know what I mean? Like, basically, you can jeopardise the project. So that's all it said. Now, whoever's taken that information might not want people to know that there's been incidents before on the island. Do you know what I mean? That's all I'm thinking. Like, they just tried to eliminate... The, the fear factor, maybe, of an incident. But then, again, the incidents might have been in those sectors where they've been. Do you know what I mean? Where, um, obviously, Mr. Echo and Anna and Lucille have been. The incident might have been in their bunker. And, obviously, they tried to prevent anything happening for this one. Like you were saying, what are the odds that two parts of the plane would break off on two different parts of the island? Also, two types of groups would find two different caves. And both types, or whatever you call bunkers, and then both bunkers will have information of a tape that you can join together to create one whole piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, luck is writing sometimes, you know, what is the coincidence on these situations? Sometimes it could be fate. And, um, you know, it'd be interesting to see, obviously, like, what they do with this information and what Michael's going to do. Now we sat at a computer. Do you know what I mean? If he's typing, 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 is he actually having that conversation? Or is he thinking he is? Again, that's another question that we've got. And that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Very interesting stuff. Obviously, we've acquired the second part of the tape. Mr. Echo's obviously brought it here. And basically, you know, they've... Un well, if they've understood it correctly, you know, they've now know that there was an incident on the island in other bunkers before. And obviously somebody felt the need to hide uh, this information from everybody. Now, we did see that it was um, Shannon's funeral today. And obviously they was all saying a few words and Lucille didn't go to it. But Jack obviously tried to come and sit down next to her at the end and basically try and tell her that, you know, she's OK to come into the camp. People don't really blame her. You know, some people might and they might resent her for it. But other people, like it was mentioned in the episode, do kind of acknowledge that it was a mistake and it is tough to kind of i don't know man because obviously shannon's been there for so long she'd be feel part of the group and the family that they've got and the fact that she's just been killed and then the person that's killed her because she physically did kill her um is now here just chilling with you it'd be hard for somebody to kind of just accept that and do you know what i'm saying but like you also have to think logically like i've mentioned a few times and it wasn't intentional you know accidents do happen and like even though boone did die it was an accident at first people blamed Locke, just like they was blaming anna lucille but Locke's been welcomed and embraced back into it hasn't it do you know what i mean Locke actually withheld information and give false information to jack at the time basically which prevented boone from probably getting the medication and the um you know the treatment that he needed to actually help him survive so i would kind of say locks was a little bit like worse both of them was clearly accidental anna lucia did clearly shoot her but it wasn't on purpose and the same as you know boone going up there and falling down wasn't on purpose so if lock could be embraced back into the camp hopefully she can as well again i thought it was interesting that Kate had this backstory. She ended up killing her real biological dad, who she didn't know was her biological dad, who thought that he was abusing and taking advantage of her mother. Uh, and that is the first thing why she is probably on the run. Do you know what I mean? So I get kind of... Um, well, I, I don't get it, but like I kind of understand more of the, the past episode that we got kind of last season when she was speaking to her mum and she was like, help, help, help basically now we know that obviously she killed her husband she's scared of her you know what i mean she's on the run the police chase you know that guy dying and all that and running away kind of get all that kind of segment now i understand it more clearly so just trying to think right do, do you know when soil strangled her and she ended up like running out of the cave so to speak and, and leaving him there and jack coming in and finding him like did that actually happen or was she thinking that because if it did happen why did soy just suddenly become possessed by this Wayne and start, you know, strangling her and trying to hurt her because 
that's just random because Saira has no recollection of that. And Sawyer Pryor told Jack that he loves her and then Jack's gone after her and then she's ended up getting all emotional and kissing Jack. And it's just like, what is going on with them? Do you know what I mean? So, like, Kate's come back, sat down, talked to Sawyer like he's Wayne, said that she basically hates Wayne and she's... Uh, like he's a part of her and then you know every time she looks at Sawyer she feels sick but then she likes Sawyer in my opinion as well so her head's just absolutely all over the place one second she likes him one second she doesn't one second she's attracted to him another second she's thinking about this Wayne it's like I don't actually know what is happening with their dynamic it's to me it's a bit confusing and then obviously they've gone out into the jungle and then they've seen that horse it actually is there she wasn't having visions and somehow that horse correlates to the episode, well, the flashback where she was driving with that guy, the marshal, he crashed and the horse was in front of it and then she drove off. That might not be the last time that he catches her in a chase between there and the one where she's found in Australia. I think that they could do way more of it and show how they persistently on the run and she keeps getting away. That would be entertaining. Kate is a good uh, character and I do like her. I just get confused at certain things sometimes and, um, you know, I feel like she does withhold info at some times. But she's kissed Jack now. So does she want to be with him? Who knows? I think Jack's a bit confused as well because he read the situation, I guess, last episode like I did, the way where I seen her talking to Sawyer. And then obviously she wanted to be with him kind of like that, spending time together today, feeding him and stuff like that. So I can see everybody getting connections. I just want that little dynamic thing to just be cementing and sorted. Just choose one and rock with it. I won't be disappointed with either. She can end up with none. She can end up with Jack. She can end up with Sawyer. I'm chilling with both of them. Literally, really, really am. I just would not want us to drop in, in and out of all three of them constantly because then... Personally, it stresses me out. Other people might actually really enjoy that stuff, but it does stress me out. So... Hopefully we can see, uh, obviously, a better conclusion to those moving forward. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see what we do now with, um, you know, with the hunt, actually, for Walt. The fact that Michael sat down, got this information on the computer, and obviously he's going to be digging and trying to get more out of it. So it's going to be exciting. So thanks for checking out today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash a like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.